All right, everybody. It's a hot topic here in Cold War, and I know other games as well. So let me know what y'all think about reverse boosting, skill-based matchmaking. Um, what are your thoughts? I want to know in the comment section down below. I want to I want to read them. Let's have a discussion down below. But anyway, man, welcome to the channel. If you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. We're on the road to 10K. Road, you get it? R H O D E. Ah. But anyway, man. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to reverse boost here in Cold War. Okay, there's several ways that you can do it. Um, there's ways that are way more efficient and time save time doing it. And you can almost get a lobby every single match. Okay, and that does require some certain things. Okay, the first of all, okay, I'm going to look at my stats to show you guys I don't reverse boost all the time. Okay, I ha have I done it? Yes, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say I haven't. I'll admit it if you ask me. I usually just say yes. Like... Um, I don't have time to <laughs> sit here and do all that. So if you look at my stats right here, you can't see because my face cam, but I'll read them out to you. My eliminations to death ratio, 3.28. Eliminations, oh, that don't matter. Score per minute is 1,300, which you're like, wow, that's insane. But I only play Nuketown. That's it. So that's really, that's okay, I guess. Uh, eliminations game, 45. And my highest kill streak, as you can see under my face cam, is an 88 was i in a reverse boost of lobby yes i'm not gonna get that in a normal lobby i'm just straight up being honest with you guys okay and hopefully you guys respect that i'm telling you guys that's how i got that 88 kill streak was a reverse boost of lobby 100 okay my win loss is a 1.34 that was actually like an eight win loss but i played fire team to level up all my weapons and it went to like a negative because i didn't try to win the fire team i just tried to level up my guns okay so that is that if i reverse boosted okay i would have probably a 15 10 to 15 kd and i'm not lying when i say that i have a 3 kd a 3.2 okay so right there is almost proof that i'm not reverse boosting have i done it before yes of course um but anyway i'm gonna let you guys know how to do that so what you need there are several ways you can you can join on somebody one of your friends if you play with lower skilled players that is the first way play with lower skilled players or play in a party with maybe some lower skilled players you will get better lobbies because they take the average of the score of the of the kd and they'll combine that boom you'll be in a lower lobby compared to what you're usually playing in okay that's pretty simple that's just that's skill-based matchmaking they're trying to make it even and fair for everybody um the other way um and once you do that then you can join session okay a lot of people um or, or you can go into a lobby or a lobby and kill yourself multiple multiple times over and over and over again until you have several games in a row where your stats are horrendous and then you can jump into a lobby and you should have a few good games in a row get some good gameplays if you do if you do make content okay that is not the best way to do it i will never tank my own stats um ever okay i'm just being honest i will never do that um the one way the best way to do it Okay, it's having another system, a PC, a PS4, um, and not just so whatever system you have. So what you can do with that system is you go into a lobby, make that account very bad, a bot account. Then when that's in a waiting lobby, you can back that account out and then you can join session. Okay. A lot of people are like, how that's kind of hard to do that. It's, it's hard to find lobbies. It's time consuming. Okay, and this is where the next part comes in. If you're on a console, I'm I, I'm not sh I don't think you can do it on PC. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have a PC, but I know on console you can play split screen. And what you do is you join both bot accounts to join a lobby. You back one account out and you join on the other bot account that's in there. So basically there's an open spot every single lobby. You can almost guarantee that you're going to get a match every single time. And then once you get into the lobby, you back the, uh, back the other bot account out. That is the most efficient way. That's how most YouTubers Warzone players, uh, everybody. I know there's stuff in Warzone that they're finding ways around it with routers and just just apps there are, like different types of apps. I don't even know much about that, so I don't want to get into Warzone. I'm just saying for multiplayer, that is the best way to do it is having another system. Um, you can get into a lobby literally almost every time. Uh, you back one account out, you join the other bot, then you back that bot account out, then you just repeat the process, and then you're in literally bot lobby accounts every single time. So that's how you do it. If you need more explanation on it, uh, let me know. I'm not going to go into crazy detail about this. Um, but like I said, if uh, the gameplay, if you watched my last video, 
Um, I ended up going like I played a normal match of skill based matchmaking. Then I did a, a match of reverse boosting to show you the difference. I, dro I went like 70 and 21 in the normal lobby. And then I ended up going like 140 and 6 in the reverse boosted lobby. And that just shows you guys a 3.2 KD. Uh, that would be terrible if I was reverse boosting. And you guys will see in the gameplay if you go watch that, man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want more tips and tricks on how to do stuff like this, let me know in the comment section. Let me know what you think about skill based matchmaking as well. And I'm just being honest. I have done it yeah i mean i'm not afraid to admit that i i don't care but i don't do it all the time or my kd would be a probably a 10 or more but yeah man hopefully you guys enjoyed the video smash that like hit the subscribe button down below and i will catch y'all later peace